Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day today. I know I am. The weather is beautiful outside and I have this gigantic list of fun stuff to do today. But we're starting off the day with a look at the new Hydra Buzzard EDC blade, which is inside this box along with some other goodies. Now this blade is my go-to EDC full tank knife. You guys have probably seen this blade a lot in my recent videos over the past year. Anyway, to make a long story short, these things sell like hotcakes on the website, thesurvivaloutpost.com. The only problem is the whole COVID-19 thing hit and it made delivery of these a real pain in the butt because they ship from Spain. So in order to make that a little bit better, two months ago, I ordered five of these and they finally showed up. I couldn't believe it. So we're gonna have a look at this blade. I'm gonna show you the features on the blade and give you a little background on it as well. Stay tuned. So here's a quick two minute rundown of the Hydra Buzzard EDC knife. What's the first thing you see here, guys? You see the ring style grip that you have here, like a crambit, right? So that's the first thing that stood out to me. It's definitely a unique design in that fashion. I haven't seen any other knives made quite like that. Then looking a little bit closer, you're gonna see multi-tool functionality right there and also right there. And then on the blade itself, there is a 90 degree spine, a little fire steel nick, and there's um, a little icon there, I guess uh, it looks like uh, some flames, right? And that's where you scrape your fire rod to get some sparks going to get that fire cranked up. But then probably the most unique thing about this knife, at least in my opinion, was the tip. When I first saw this knife, I had never seen the CX point before. Typically you see drop point and you also see Tanto, but with this, like, whoa, that's different. So I had to look it up. And Vikings, actually, um, this was like their go-to knife design, the CX point right there. So basically, I'm like a modern-day Viking, or you could be if you purchase this. But all joking aside, guys, what else is there to say about this knife? Oh, yeah, important fact, aside from this beautiful black powder coating, is the fact that it is made of four, uh, 1.4116 stainless steel. So there's no maintenance on this, guys. There's no need to oil it. There's no need to worry about it rusting. It's going to just endure, like this one has just endured. And then finally, the other thing to mention, guys, is um, the sheath, right? It's lightweight. There's nothing uh, super, you know, particular fancy about the sheath in terms of design. It's just the sheath. You pair that with the paracord, and you get your neck knife set up just like that. Now, one thing you could do, like what I've done with mine, is uh, neck knives are just not my thing really. So I purchased a tack clip for mine and mounted it so I can wear this on my belt. And then the other thing to mention here is you can also purchase this fire steel holder that I have right here, which fits a fire steel rod of 5 16th in diameter. And this is a cool little trick that I just was like messing around with. I was like, hey, I need some tinder. I need to carry some tinder with me. So what I did is I took some jute twine and I ran it through the end of the fire steel right there and then just wrapped up a whole bunch of it and then put some electrical tape around that and boom, I got fire steel, I got tinder and I have a way to strike it with the 90 degree spine on the Hydra Buzzard. So that's the rundown as quickly as I can do it. If you're interested in checking out this knife a little bit more, it is available for sale right now on the website. I ship the next business day, three day priority mail inside the United States from my bunker in the deep south. And you can save 15%, did I say that? I don't know, 15% as well, uh, code is gonna pop up right here and that information will be down there in the pinned post. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching. I got a lot of good content coming in down, um, I don't know, in the very near future, right? So this weekend I'm going on a fishing trip with one of my friends and um, also gotta wrap up that urban caching or cache. Which is it, right? Uh, that video is gonna be pretty fun because I actually look beyond the urban area for caching. I look in the wilderness area, we talk pros and cons for each environment, and then we also discuss my three top favorite places to put a cache, or cache, whatever you wanna call it. Hint, one of those places is associated in some shape, form, or fashion with dead people. So, with that being said, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to check out the knife down there in the pinned post. And when you do that, you support the channel, which I appreciate, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey, you still there? Cool. Then don't forget to check out our website located on the interwebs at thesurvivaloutpost.com. 
We are designed and optimized for hard use, for the self-reliant who talk less and hustle more. Thanks to our international connections, you get first access to unique and innovative products from around the world. This is the gear that will give you that edge you need in a survival situation or if you're just trying to keep the lights on when the power goes out. Any content mentioned in this video is linked up down there in the pin post and be sure to watch the suggested videos for more real world survival training and knowledge.